Hello YouTube. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, how to install paint.net uh, fonts. Um, it's actually going to be more of a Windows tutorial because it revolves around where do the fonts go in Windows. So sorry for you Mac and Linux people. So uh, without further ado, um, let's get started with finding some fonts to, for, to start with at least. Um, a great website for that is 1001fonts.com uh, they actually have a nice little feature here where you can uh, type what you want say north northwest trees click enter so it changes all the the font titles and stuff to actually northwest trees so you could kind of get a feel of what it's going to look like another thing that um, they have a whole bunch of little options around here, but one of the best ones is only show font or only show fonts are uh, for commercial use. So if you click that, all these little things on the side here turn green. So that means basically you can use those for anything from YouTube um, channel titles or whatever you want. Um, it's really handy. I've used some of the uh, fonts from here uh, for my logo design and stuff like that as well so so basically what you do you just download the file we're just going to use this one right here it's going to give you a zip and um, go to your downloads folder right there actually I will yeah whatever alright so just to extract the file like you would normally do and depending on the author, you sometimes will get either one of these files or sometimes like four of them, depending on what kind of version of the font it is. Some are italic, some are regular, some are bold, blah, blah, blah. Now basically these ones right here with the alphabets on it, like ABG or whatever font you have, um, goes into your fonts folder in Windows um, in the Windows folder. So to get there, all you need to do is go to C Drive. I'm going to expand this a little bit. Go to C Drive, and then you want to go to Windows, and then you want to scroll down where it has that little icon of an E or whatever, and it says Fonts. And it'll take a second to load because it's a whole bunch of files. But these are all your Windows um, default fonts and stuff like that, unless you installed fonts already. Um, now all you need to do is drag them in here. I would suggest writing down the names of the fonts that you install. So um, say this one is that name right there. So you copy it, make a new document, and then drag them in. Uh, just kind of keep a file, even if it's a TXT, just saying what fonts you've added into this whole jumble of mess. Because if you want to remove something that you installed previously, you're going to have to search for it. Um, like for instance, one of my fonts, the one that I use for my um, title, like my icon for my image and stuff like that, is this one right here. I only know know that because it's like Nepal something or other, but it's I had to find it for a friend recently. Anyhow, but it's handy to keep a document of what fonts and stuff you have just so you don't need to go around deleting the wrong thing and end up having no fonts on your computer by the time you're finished. So uh, yeah that's basically it and when you go into paint.net um, there is a font little icon right here, the T. We'll get into how to do all this other stuff um, in a later episode. But then you just go into your fonts thing and you scroll down to where you have your custom font installed for this instance. Uh, mine is under N, it's Napole something or other. And I'm just going to use a big scale, probably something bigger than that, 500. And as you can see, it's custom font. This isn't a Windows font, this is from that website. Anyhow, um, that's basically how you install custom fonts uh, for paint.net. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do um, a lot of videos for tutorials and stuff like that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There's some more videos right on the screen right now that you can click. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.